Hello, I'm CB the Scare, and I'll be doing a gear review for the new gear from the Dragon Spire pack. First, we got the Buccaneer one. This is the helmet. It gives 14 will and some strength and some agility, along with 14 accuracy and the Reaper. Uh, I mean, I think it's all right, but it's not the best. Here is the robe. 14 strength, some agility, will, accuracy, Leviathan skull. Pretty interesting. You can have a a protection ability with some accuracy and strength. Pretty good. We've got the boots, all the stats here, 14 accuracy, and vicious charge. I like this one too. I don't think it's the best. Like Buccaneers can get blade storm boots, which I think is better. But this is still very interesting. And of course, they get relentless interesting choice. However, I prefer to use the Manticore drop instead where it gives three abilities. And for the ring, it gives the Shadow Dance. For criticals for a Buccaneer, could be dangerous. Now for Musketeers. For the helmet, they get the Sky Spirit ability with some accuracy and agility. And for the robe, again some accuracy, some agility, and Inferno Shot. I don't really like Inferno Shot to be honest. It's kind of mid. The boots comes with some interesting barrels that can explode. Some agility, some accuracy. I would rather use the Tartarus boots to be honest. And for the necklace, it gives burst fire. And one of the worst rings I've ever seen in my goddamn life is this. Regroup. Just why? Alright, for Privateer, we've got the critical buff for 5 turns. Very, very cool, very interesting. Some will and some dodge. Lovely. So for the robe, we've got some will, dodge, and focus fire. I don't like focused fire. It's not that great. For the boots, we have some will, dodge, and the big guns. I like this one a lot, actually. I can see people using this. And for the necklace, we've got spirit sight, which is really cool. If you're using a privateer that uses staffs, yes, that is a real thing. Uh, this will be very handy for you. And the ring, walk in darkness. It's okay. It, I mean, it's fine. Oh boy, the swashbuckler. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 10 agility, 14 dodge, assassin strike. Already, this is really good. Really, really solid. Now, can the others compete? Let's see. The robe, 12 agility, 14 dodge, and gambit of steel. I'll let you decide for yourself, but me personally, I think this isn't the best. I think it's really bad. And this is probably even worse. The boots. 14 agility, 14 dodge, really good. Until I get to the card, Hurl Blades. Hurl Blades isn't the best, especially in PvE. Who uses Hurl Blades in PvE? And the necklace, Repost. Uh, you can get Repost 5 for your pet and the weapon, but if you if you change your weapon, you can get Repost 5 by doing this now. I mean, it's way better than that Rue Grip spell. And the ring is really solid. A 25% accuracy buff and 25% dodge buff for 5 turns. This is what I'm talking about. Finally, Swashblockers get some love. And last but not least, we've got Witch Doctors. 14 will, 14 accuracy, and the, and the Bone Drake spell. And the robe, we've got the Wyvern Song ability, a 14 accuracy, and 10 will. And the boots, we got Mojo Burn, which is going to be pretty useful in PvP. Some accuracy, some will again. And for the necklace, we've got Mojo Echo. Very interesting for some PvE builds. And we've got the ring, which gives Valor's armor. That concludes the gear review. Now let's get on to the companion review really quickly. The Swashbuckler, who gets some really cool abilities. He got Bloodthirst that affects the enemy and also yourself, so be careful with this. He cannot get spooky either. You can get um, Bloodlust, and he can even get Repel 3. Repel 3, Repost 3, or you can try to have Repost 5 or Hold Line 3. Which means you could do whole hold line three and repel three. Really interesting. For the privateer, these are his abilities. He gets this, which 
can lower an enemy's dodge for five turns, which is absolutely insane. I love this. He can get Merciless 3, and he can get Relentless and Blade. The Buccaneer one cannot get Blade Storm 5, but he can get Vengeance Strike 5, and he also gets he gets a follow through ability. He also gets Flame of Corruption, and again, a minus 50% dodge. Also, the stats on the Privateer is crazy. Look at that, 142 dodge for a melee fighter. The biggest accuracy I've ever seen in the game. We also get the Dragon Wings and a Drake Mount, also some, some pets right here. We've got the Red Bone Drake, and we've got the Hatchling. This is the Battle Drake Mount. It's really awesome, one of my favorites to be honest. There's two versions of it. One of them is very fast and the other one is fast. Be, be warned, the very fast one is very rare. Probably even rarer than the companions to be honest, because I don't have it. And most of the housing items are just imported from Wizard 101. That concludes my review for the pack, I'll see you next time.